Hey everybody, it is Chris. It's Wednesday, August the 14th, and I wanted to do something a little bit different today. So, um, as I think a lot of you know, I go through all of Donald Trump's, most of Donald Trump's transcripts of his speeches, his interviews, stuff he, when he talks, I try to go through it. And there's a lot of lines that keep coming up because he uses the same material, which is fine. And one of them is that uh, Joe Biden, even though he's not running against Joe Biden anymore, Joe Biden is the worst president in American history, which made me think, is Joe Biden the worst president in American history um, or not? So obviously Biden is still president, so there's not a lot of data on that. But one ranking that was done recently by historians had him as the 17th best president or, you know, the 25th worst president, whatever, the 17th best president. So kind of in the middle of the pack, slightly above the middle of the pack. But I got sort of down a rabbit hole um, and I wanted to figure out, OK, well, who do historians rank as the five worst presidents ever? Now, these things are a little bit all over the map, but generally speaking, there is a consensus on the five worst all right, so I'm going to list them, and then I'm going to go through them in alphabetical order. Okay, in alphabetical order, these are the top five worst. You can kind of group them, for, you know, however you want, like who's the actual worst, but I'm just going to go through the, the bottom five in alphabetical order. So James Buchanan, William Henry Harrison, Andrew Johnson, Franklin Pierce, Donald Trump. Okay, so those are the five. So I want to go through each of them and just give you a little sense on what made them so bad. Maybe give you a little fun fact about each of them, too, that might make you think that they're not as horrible as historians thought. Okay, so uh, let's start, again, alphabetical order only, but these are the five worst presidents as judged by historians in American history, okay, starting with B, James Buchanan. All right, so Buchanan was the 15th president of the United States. Um, he was president from 1857 to 1861. Thank you, Thumb. Uh, he was the president before Abraham Lincoln. Now, that is important and will come up repeatedly in these worst presidential rankings. Okay, so the Dred Scott ruling uh, happened in 1857 during right at the start of Buchanan's term. Now, this was a ruling. It's probably the most controversial ruling in uh uh, Supreme Court history, it said that African Americans were not citizens. Uh, Buchanan supported that ruling. Um, he once called slavery, quote, happily a matter of but little importance. Whoops. Um, he blocked Kansas, uh, excuse me, he backed Kansas from joining the uh, country as a slave state, a decision that split the Democratic Party and largely led to the Civil War. So the start of the Civil War is laid at least partly at James Buchanan's feet, which is why he is one of the top five worst presidents. Okay, moving on. Again, alphabetical order only. William Henry Harrison. He was the ninth president of the United States, and he was president in 1841. And you say, he was president in 1841, Chris. President served for four years. Not William Henry Harrison. So Harrison uh, was elected and gave an inaugural speech. It was very cold, weather was really bad, and he didn't wear a coat during his speech because he wanted to show the nation that he was like healthy and tough, et cetera, et cetera. The thing you need to know about him is he gave a two hour long inauguration speech, which is still the longest inauguration speech ever given. Remember, it was cold, weather was bad. He immediately falls ill with a cold or pneumonia or something like that, and 30 days after becoming president, he dies. Now, for anyone who's familiar with the Simpsons, the mediocre president song, you will know this fact because William Henry Harrison, he died in 30 days, is part of that song. Now, I actually think this is somewhat unfair to put Harrison in the bottom uh, five presidents because he's the only president for 30 days. I mean, he didn't really do anything. I guess giving a too long inaugural speech and not wearing a coat in the cold is bad, but does it make you one of the five worst presidents? So I, to me, a little bit unfair there to put Henry Harrison, uh, William Henry Harrison in that uh, category. Okay, to the next worst president in alphabetical order, Andrew Johnson. Okay, he was the 17th president of the United States from 1865 to 1869. So Buchanan was before Lincoln and Johnson was the president right after 
Lincoln. Notice a theme here. So probably the best president ever sandwiched by two of the worst presidents ever. So uh, Johnson comes into office after Lincoln has been assassinated. Uh, he's trying to figure out how to re- bring to reintroduce the states that had seceded back into the union um he didn't do it well so he was a white supremacist which is not great there's lots of quotes from him uh, about sort of you know white people are the best um he opposed the 14th amendment to the constitution which granted rights to formerly uh, enslaved people during his term he vetoed a civil rights bill he was actually impeached and this is I actually think a little bit unfair to Johnson. He was impeached for removing his secretary of war um, during his term. And the reason that happened is the secretary of war was a radical Republican and the radical Republicans hated uh, Johnson and wanted him to be much more punitive on the states rejoining uh, the states who had seceded. He, he wanted they wanted uh, those states to pay a much higher penalty and be subject to much uh, uh, harsher strictures. Uh, than Johnson did. Uh, and so he was impeached by the House. He was not convicted by the Senate by one vote. So had one more senator voted to impeach, to convict him, he would have been convicted and be the only president ever convict, impeached and convicted. Okay, moving on. Franklin Pierce. This was our 14th president of the United States from 1853 to 1857. So Pierce... Um, was again there was a run of bad presidents there so the 14th 15th and 17th presidents in the united states uh all are seen as some of the worst five presidents in history and again the the president in between them is lincoln who's widely seen as the best president of all time all right so what did pierce do again a lot of this is going to be familiar to what I said about James Buchanan, who was the president right before the Civil War and right before Lincoln. Pierce was the president right before Buchanan. So B Pierce's big issue was that he signed the Kansas-Nebraska Act and supported it. And what it basically did is said that slavery could be permitted in territories where it had previously been banned based on a vote of the people in that territory or state. Um, it was seen as sort of, you know, again, one of the early signs of the Civil War. Um, he was also sort of seen as largely ineffectual. Um, the sort of big leaders in the country didn't take him all that seriously. Um, now, a couple uh, things about Pierce. A lot of tragedy in his life. Uh, all of his kids, all three of his children died young, including his 11-year-old who died in a train accident while on a trip with his, his parents, Franklin Pierce's parents, two months before his inauguration. Um, one saving grace for Pierce, widely considered the best-looking president ever to hold the office, and Harry Truman said when he was elected, that Pierce was the best looking person to ever hold the office, at least prior to him. Okay, which brings us, I'll close my notebook because I don't need any notes on this guy. Our 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, who was president from 2017 to 2021. There's obviously a lot here. I'm not going to spend that much time on Trump because my guess is you're more familiar with Trump than you are with, say, James Buchanan. Uh, but Trump's handling of the COVID pandemic, his skepticism about masking, uh, his sort of turning it into a political uh, fight, um, his uh, weaponizing of the Justice Department, his uh, work to use the federal bureaucracy to overturn the 2020 election, and when that didn't work, his uh, rally at the U.S. Capitol or near the U.S. Capitol that led to the riot at the U.S. Capitol. All of these things, I think, historically are going to be looked back on as very, very bad. So that's the list. It is James Buchanan, William Henry Harrison, again, kind of unfair. He was only president for 30 days. Andrew Johnson, Franklin Pierce, and Donald Trump. Those are your five worst presidents, a consensus of historians and polls and things that have been done over the last many years. Those are your, your bottom five. Joe Biden, not on that list. So the next time you hear Donald Trump say Biden was the worst president in history, you can say, you know what? I'm going to send him this video that Chris Silliza made that documents who actually were the worst five presidents. And that list includes Donald Trump. All right, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this uh, history lesson. Um, I am making videos every single day. 
uh, four days a week, I should say, and then I'm doing a live stream every Friday. Uh, please, four things to do. Subscribe to this channel. It's easy. Press the subscribe button. We I want to get to 40,000, hopefully, by the end of this month. We're getting close. We're less than 5,000 away. Would love to get to 40,000 by the end of the month. Like this video. Uh, comment on this video. Tell me if you want to see more historical deep dives like this. If you do, I want to do them. I want to do both current news and, and other stuff too. Um, and tell 10 friends about this channel. Spread the word, people. I need you to be evangelists for what I'm building here. All right, everybody take care. I'll see you tomorrow.